Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ashley Balicki here with Make It With Ashley. So today we have five fun little fall and Halloween themed cards. Um, so this one I pre-stamped using some of the Halloween stamps from um, the Best Buddies stamp collection. Those little, uh, little guys are super cute. Um, so I have a hop have a hauntingly happy Halloween. I dovetailed some silver glitter paper. So again, you just aim for the center and then snip from the corner up to the center on either side, glued it down and then matched the same angle with that black to create cute little layered dovetail to go in the top corner of my card. So that is the card front which I am now going to adhere onto my card base and have a little uh, border all the way around. And that is card number one. So uh, card number two is super cute using um, these uh, pumpkins uh, from, I think it's like a World of Octobers or something like that. Um, so I pre-stamped um, the tree and those same bats. Again, those ones came from the Halloween Buddies, um, three different stamp sets I had that I used today. Um, and then I used a three-inch circle die cut to cut that circle out. I'm going to dovetail again on my uh, Happy Hauntings. Um, and then the ghost with the top hat in the hat uh, came from the Boo Crew stamp set. Um, I think Happy Hauntings came from one of the uh, Best Buddies Halloween ones though. But I absolutely adore this little ghost, his top hat, top hat and I'm going to pop him up with some 3D foam tape to add some nice dimensions to this card. Um, so super quick, super easy ones to make. Um, and then uh, this again is my card front and I have a little bit of an eighth inch white border all the way around to help make it pop. Um, so my next is a happy birthday card. So I had fun doing some tone on tone stamping with those pumpkins that you see there. Um, uh, actually, no, not tone on tone. I did black on each of the three different colored cardstock. So um, I used the same pumpkins in a later card. However, we end up coloring them with some colored pencils. Um, so right there, you can see me using a sponge to ink the edge. Um, so this is a really fun technique I used on the leaves. You don't see it in the video, but it is rocking and rolling. So I inked the leaf in the lighter color. Um, and then I roll the edges in the darker color, um, and that helps give these gorgeous two tones. Um, I want to say I was using um, Sundance. Uh, I want to say that was Paprika, and I know for sure the darker color is Harbor. Um, so those tied in nicely, and you always get such great color variations doing this. It's a really fun technique if you haven't tried it before. So I'm going to pop up that sentiment, um, leaves are falling, autumn is calling, and this card is done. So um, you can see this is the last card that I'm making. So I am coloring in uh, the pumpkins, and then I'm doing two tones um, with the little leaves on there. And so slapping this together, always enjoy having a little bit of glitter or bling, something that sparkles. Um, and so can see not sure what's oh huh. I was running this as a workshop and I apparently I left this running while uh, we were walking around and stamping there we go um, so I have these cute sequins and we stamped so you can see the spectrum noir tribalin markers on the right they do create such vibrance and shadows however you can still get some nice shading uh, with using just the colored pencils which is what I did on the left hand card um, I did like how blue that pumpkin was. It was kind of a fun pop. Um, and then I glued down my sequins. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our three hall Halloween and fall cards. Um, and I hope you enjoyed crafting with me. And uh, have a fabulous day.